hey friends so in object oriented programming this word solid actually is each letter of it is representing a principle so these are the five most important supposedly the most important principles of object oriented programming design so let's see what these principles are so first principle is that is this s in solid stands for single responsibility principle so let's look at what this single responsibility principle means so let's look at the bed design first so this is an interface rotatable here are three methods rotate slow rotate fast and print it is declaring all three of them here is a class table fan which is implementing this interface and hence it has to give definition for each of these three methods so it is providing the implementation for each of them so uh, let's see this part and this part separately so these two methods are related to rotation so in the implementation part some kind of uh, rotation is happening so and this print method is dependent is uh, basically printing something on the screen so basically this method these two methods will be dependent will be calling classes and are dependent on classes related which are related to the rotation mechanism and this is represent uh, this is dependent on the printing classes like maybe print writer etc so if anything changes with the printing mechanism this method will change and if anything changes with rotation mechanism these two methods will be impacted so this class has more than one reasons to change this is the first reason this is the second reason so why it is bad design because it is having more than one reasons to change so this class will change more frequently so if this class is changing more frequently why is this a bad thing because uh if we change print mechanism then this class is changing and all the dependent classes are being affected and if something uh happens with the rotation mechanism then also this class is changing and it will affect all the dependent classes so how to solve this let's see the good design so we are separating this interface into two interfaces each of which is having a single responsibility hence the name single responsibility principle so this is an interface called printer which is having the printing responsibility this is rotatable which is having these two methods this is fan printer class which is implementing the printer and hence defining the print method this is a table fan class which is implementing rotatable interface and hence defining these two methods so basically uh we are assigning each of these two classes and these two interfaces a single responsibility and hence uh the fan printer class will change only if uh something is changing with the printer mechanism printing mechanism and this class will change only if something is uh, happening with the rotation mechanism so the chances of this class being changed has decreased the chances chances of this class being changed is also decreased 
so basically let's say we'll take a practical example so let's say uh, printing mechanism changes five times a year print mechanism changes okay and this rotation mechanism changes three times a year and let's say this class is uh, having maybe 10 classes which are dependent on this class so if print mechanism changes these 10 classes code may break and if rotation uh, mechanism change then also these 10 classes code may change so these 10 classes may break 8 times a year so hence 80 breaks per year let's see in this scenario we have separated the concerns so now those 10 classes which are dependent on this are dependent either on these two methods or this method so let's say five of them were dependent on this print method so maybe let's say six of them okay and four of them on this rotation mechanism so uh, and we have already said that rotation mechanism changes five times a year or three times a year so four into three and this mechanism changes five times a year so printing mechanism six into five so this is equal to 30 this is equal to 12 so only 42 changes a year as compared to this 80 breaks a year so this is the benefit of uh, giving each of the interfaces a single responsibility so the chances of it changing are less and hence the classes dependent on it breaking of those classes chances are also decreased hope you understand friends this is a bit complex principle to understand i uh, know but by these calculations and all these explanations hope you understood thank you friends